Anybody else got any guesses? You might win a pizza. Okay, here we go. Hello. Hello, everybody. Welcome to another episode of Best of Five. We have to be quiet. We have to be a little bit on the hush-hush. They're still setting up everything here. Hello. Yes, it is very blue. This is the this is the lighting that the audience will be in come tomorrow. Uh, for those of you that don't know, we're coming to you live from the venue of the Arc World Tour Finals, which will be happening on Friday. I'm sorry, on Saturday. And we're gonna see who the best Guilty Gear Strive and DNF Duel players are for the year of 2022. Now. Before the before the show started, we had a pizza bet going on, and we had Mean Scene placing the bet that Swiftmaster is the character that's next to me. Mean Scene, I delight in the ability to tell you it was Swiftmaster. There he is. There he is. Right there is him. Them. So congratulations. Congratulations on your pizza. I'll send that to you sometime this weekend when things aren't crazy. But, ladies and gents, I just got to tell you one thing right off the bat. The stuff that we've been working on all day, the stuff that we'll be doing tomorrow, is bonkers. It's bonkers. I can't wait for you guys to see the shit that we've been doing. So, we're not here to dilly-dally. I got... A limited time. Um, before we start, I do want to give a couple of shout outs. I want to shout out Junior, who is the uh, the esports manager over at Arc System Works. He was the one that gave us his blessing uh, to uh, for us to bring you an episode from here. And I also want to send out a big thank you to Lord Brett from the content department at my job. He's my boss. He said I could do this, and he was very helpful. So, Brett, thanks. This shit about to get crazy. All right. So, enough dilly-dallying. Let's go over some of these brackets. And let's play some pizza bets on the stuff that matters. All right. First, we're going to start with Lord DNF, ladies and gents. Lord DNF, here is the bracket. We have, oh boy, it's small on my screen. <laughs> Here we go. We have Lost Soul versus Kikyo-chan, Goichi versus Mystic Smash, Kubo versus Yu Song Cha, and K-Top versus Nan Pon. That is the opening gambit of DNF Duel 4 Friday, and I got to tell you, it's a list of killer after killer after killer after killer chat. Since we don't have a lot of time, let's place the pizza bet now. When I count to three, everybody in the chat, I want you to write who you think is going to win DNF Duel this coming Saturday. All right? Your choices, once again, I'll put them up here on the screen for you. Well, pow. It is Lost Soul, Kikyo-chan. Goichi, Mystic Smash, Kubo, Yu Song Cha, K Top, and Nan Pan. Chat, I'm going to count to three. When I say three, you write who you think is going to win. Ready? One, two, three, go. I want to see. I want to see these bets. If you in the chat get this right. There is pizza. Mean scene's got lost soul. 
honestly mean scene that's who i have to <laughs> <laughs> so my 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 specific pick is between lost soul and kubo cuz kubo won frosty faustings which was just a couple weeks ago it was about a month ago and kubo showed how to do it with grappler so we're going to get to see some crazy grappler action lost soul of course playing Dragon Knight. There we go. I remember names. Um, we have a, like a super varied cast of characters, right? Uh, like I think they're in this entire top eight. I think there's only two people who are sharing the same character, and those two characters, or th that one character who's picked twice, is Hitman. Of course, of course, it's got to be Hitman, right? And I'm gonna open up the docket here because I know who they are. Whoops. I just ruined everything. My remote control died. So I don't have <laughs> So I don't have uh I don't have my uh I don't have my usual remote control, so I have to do this all by hand. But chat, you know who the two Hitman players are. You know who it be. Mystic may have switched off Hitman to Vanguard. Oh, now that's interesting. That's right. After Season 2, Vanguard did get a lot better. So that's very interesting. That's very interesting. But yeah, it was Mystic Smash. And chat, fill me in. Who's the second one? This is the part where you tell me. K-Top, thank you. <laughs> I have it all on the list, and it's all left my brain. I'm so fried. We, I've been here since about 7 in the morning. 7 in the morning, Eastern. Uh, and it's, been ju it's just been crazy after crazy after crazy. I'll give you guys a little peek of the stage. You're ready for this? You ready for this? Oh, that's all you get. That's all you get. That's what the stage looks like. Fighters up there. Striker, sorry. Not fighter. <laughs> yeah. So, Mean Scene's got Lost Soul. Blue, who you got winning? Show up. Squidly's got Kubo. Fighters was last week. Yeah, I know. And we got a beta coming because of it, but we're not talking about that. You got to go Goichi. Goichi, the Swift Master player. Oh, Goichi's playing Crusader now? Uh-oh. Uh-oh. That's going to be weird. Doguro won the SFL championship. That makes sense. Look, we're not here to talk about SFL. We're not here to talk about DBFC. I. Go oh yeah, that is right. Goichi's gonna finish the Cyclops sweep. That is true. That is true. That Lab Lady is going to win. Lab Lady. Are you talking about Launcher? I don't think anybody's playing Launcher. I could be wrong about that, though. Who knows? But my official pick. Kubo. I'm taking Kubo. I'm taking Kubo, chat. So if Kubo doesn't win, I owe you all a pizza. If Kubo does win, you owe me some subs. I. Kubo Kubo's my big pick. So get ready to send me some pizzas. I, right. um, of course, we saw that DNF was not picked for Evo. However, that doesn't mean that Arxis is not supporting DNF anymore. We heard from Junior; they still p have a lot of plans for DNF. So I'm sure there's going to be a lot of crazy stuff. Now, with this bet complete, let's go up to our next bet, according to uh, involving DNF. Do we have any announcements coming this weekend? Yes or no, chat? And if so, what is it? I want to see it. Here's my thought. I think we got something coming. And I don't know what it is. But my guess is they finally going to show a character. They're going to show a character. He's going to show a character. 
the Switch version release date? That is true. I haven't seen it. I have not seen the Switch version release date. Spectre? Is that what you're thinking, Blue? You guys are so you guys are thinking character and release date. Are you thinking release date is like tomorrow? Like people usually do? Okay. 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 Within a week of the tournament? Okay. Okay. I like that. I like that. So we'll do it this way. We'll do it this way then. If Spectre does get announced, I'm giving Blue a pizza. If a character gets announced, I'm giving Mean Scene a pizza. Along with another pizza giveaway in the chat. So there's going to be three pizzas flying out if Spectre does get announced. So we're raising the stakes here. All right. It's DNF, baby. Who's next? Right. That's the, <laughs> that's the game tag. Um, so here's what you can expect to see this weekend, too. Um, if you guys remember watching Stakes, ah, uh, if you guys remember watching the uh, the Arc World Tour Finals preview with Sejam and Lord Junior uh, a couple weeks ago, they announced that they have M. Dot Rage. M. Dot Rage is going to be here. They're going to be selling some some of their dope clothing. It's going to be pretty dope. They also have a couple other sponsors, as you can see here. One being PlayStation, one being Hitbox, MSI as well. So we have a hell of a show coming on Saturday. Now, give me one moment. All right, we're good. There's a giant crane to my right. And by a crane, I mean a cherry picker. All right. Here we are. It's time to talk about Guilty Gear. We got the DNF bets. It's time to get to Guilty Gear. Chat. This Guilty Gear bracket is going to be pretty crazy. And we got a lot of stories coming out of this bracket. But check this, check this out. We have Eskil fighting out of France. We have Gobo, the Japanese Secretary of Defense for the Americas, <laughs> playing Gold Lewis and Chip. We have Mochi. We have Nubenheimer, the man who won his first ever offline tournament at CE Otaku earlier this year, or earlier last year, sorry. We have T.Y., who won Fighter Spirit. We have Zando, who took the mix-up. Over Latif, by the way, who was the big favorite to show up. They're not here. We have Umisho, the big first winner of EVO, who hasn't... If I'm not mistaken, Umisho hasn't had a chance to play a lot of international players, right? Because EVO was still like in the midst of uh, a shutdown in Japan, and... After Evo ended is when Japan opened up. So Umisho, I have a feeling, I have a feeling they're gonna they're gonna be running into some stuff. But I can't wait to see how they do. And of course, last but not least, the person that for some reason everybody discredits, like the big, un, the most underrated player in the world, in my opinion, Tempest NYC, fighting out of New York. It's terrible. It's terrible that Umisho and Tempest are first. Like, it's an America team kill. Right off the bat. Horrible, right? What? 
Absolutely horrible. However, the big first match, the big first match that everybody's looking at is Mochi and Nubenheimer. That match, which is the second match of the day for Guilty Gear, is going to set is going to set the tone. Is Nubenheimer going to be able to best Mochi? Is Mochi going to show that Nubenheimer doesn't got the experience? We'll see on Saturday. But all right, chat, here we go. We're going to place these pizza bets. It's time for the pizza bet. I'm going to put the graphic up on stream one more time, and I'm going to count to three. Here are your choices one more time. We got... We got Eskil, Gobo, Mochi, Nubenheimer, TY, Zando, Umisho, and Tempest NYC. So on the count of three, who's winning this thing? Type it in the chat. You ready? Here we go. One second. One moment. Shit blazing, still my heart is blazing If the words kill me, I don't need a new world order You look, soon you will know We already know the smell of the game Your word. 
Can't you see I'm blazing? Still my heart is blazing. If the words kill me, I don't need a new world after you. My time is my world. You words will never let me disappear. That is bullshit blazing. Still my heart is blazing. Okay. Sorry, there was some sensitive information being shared. I had to turn it off. Them's, them's the breaks. Them's the breaks. Sensitive information being shared. I want to be able to do this again in the future, so we turn all this off. All right, let's get back into it. What were we doing? Also, by the way, mean scene. Everybody press some buttons for mean scene. Press some buttons for mean scene. Now, on the count of three, on the count of three, I want you guys to pick your players. Who's winning Guilty Gear Strive? I don't pick my player immediately after. Just sharing the wealth. Man. Me seeing you're crazy. Stop it. Now, here we go. Count to three. You guys tell me who you think is winning. One, two, three, go. And while I'm waiting for everybody to type in their answer. <sighs> it's tough. It's tough, man. It's super tough. We have a Tempest. We have a Nubenheimer. I think my pick. Hmm. My pick as to who's going to take it on Saturday. I think it's going to be T.Y. Did you guys see T.Y.? That fighter spirit? That dude's crazy. That dude's absolutely nuts. So T.Y. is my bet. We have 
Tempest, and we have Neubenheimer. So we'll see come Saturday. If TY wins, y'all owe me some gifted subs. If Neubenheimer or Tempest win, I owe y'all some pizza. Oh, a Squidly wants mochi. Okay, I got you. I got you, Squidly. So th them's the bets. Mochi, Neubenheimer, or Tempest. I owe y'all some pizza. TY, y'all owe me some gifted subs. I. Last but not least, ladies and gentlemen, let's make the bet. Who, what is getting announced? What is getting announced? Is it going to be a character? Is it going to be a date? Is it going to be the entirety of season two? On the count of three. I want you guys to send me the guess. Uh, and actually, you know what? Before we even get to that, I do want to shout out some one thing here. M Mochi versus Nubenheimer is, without a doubt, the most anticipated match because Nubenheimer is a very unknown player. Mochi, extremely known player. Both of them are about to go crazy. I kind of forget who Mochi plays. Nubenheimer is the last, rem is the last samurai. Nubenheimer is the last samurai. Last samurai. He's the last Nagoriyuki ever. Don't check that. It's real. Mochi plays Soul. That's right. Mochi, one of the last two Soul players. There's two Soul players in the bracket this week or this weekend. And again, same thing as DNF. It's just crazy. Soul is the only character that got picked more than once, and it got and he got picked twice. Everyone else has different characters. It's a crazy variety, which is in my opinion, really damn cool, right? Because we got, what, S-Skill? Who's been playing? Wh who's S-Skill play again? I think he's a soul player. We got Gobo, who's the Gold Lewis or Chip player. We got Mochi, who's the soul player. We got Nubenheimer, the Nago player. We got T.Y., Is T.Y. The, the Giovanna player? I think T.Y. is the Giovanna player. Correct me if I'm wrong. We got... Zando. The Ramlethal. We got Umisho, the Happy Chaos. And we got Tempest, the Leo. So it is a hell of a cast of characters, both in-game and outside of the game. And it's going to be completely ridiculous. But now, since we got our picks for the tournament already... We got to figure this out. What's going to get announced? Chat, I'm going to count to three. I want you guys to choose option one, which is character. Option two, season pass. Option three, the, the new story mode and a release date. All right. So on the count of three, choose between one, two, and three. So, one, character, two, season, more season pass, three, story mode and date. Ready? One, two, three. My choice is three. Blue says one. Just getting a character? Damn, you guys just think we're getting a character? It's the Arc World Tour finals. It's the finals. There's no more. Trailer for her and a release date in March. Evil Japan playtest? I don't know. Dude, I'm thinking they're going to show like the new story mode. And a release date. They could reveal two. Like more season two, season, uh, season two pass. Because is Bridget part of season two? Or is she still part of season one? I don't remember. I think she was season one, right? I don't remember. Uh, Evo was so long ago now. <laughs> Almost a year ago, some would say. Um, 
but my choice is three. So if we get Delilah, I'm in trouble because of the dev backyard. Oh, the dev backyard show off Delilah. Okay. Bridget is season two. All right. Okay. Well, in that case, I might have told you guys some pizzas. I don't know. We'll see tomorrow. You know? A character and a story. They didn't reveal Delilah? Oh, did they hint at? Okay, okay. Oh, yeah, there was Sin. That's right. I forgot about Sin. Oh, the character is going to be playable at Evil Japan? Oh, man. Well, we'll see. A teaser at Arc Evil Japan? Hmm. Hmm. Well, I'm sticking to my guns. I'm sticking with number three. Give me the new story mode stuff. You guys are picking characters. So, if we're getting a character, more pizza for you when I get back from L.A. Also, in that same vein, we are going to Texas Showdown in April. We'll be there. So it's going to be pretty great. I can't wait. I cannot wait. One in April and one in May. Ooh. If Johnny's not the one in May, then the joke is gone. Who's the joke character in Guilty Gear? Guilty Gear doesn't have a joke character. So we can't have an April Fool's character. Maybe we can. I don't know. But anyway, ladies and gents, I know this show is a little bit on the hurried side and it's a little bit on the crazy side, but them's the breaks when we're in the spot that they're setting up for the tournament this coming Saturday. Tomorrow, we're going to be shooting a bunch of stuff with the players. It's going to be great. I can't wait for you guys to see what we have prepared because it is new. It is ridiculously off-the-wall crazy. It's... It's crazy enough that like that we we got to do this kind of stuff. But as soon as I knew that we we like my company was working on this, I was like, "Hey, I got some ideas." And they did them. They did them. So, you can expect some crazy shit tomorrow. And by tomorrow, I mean Saturday. I keep thinking it's Friday. It feels like a Friday. Uh but blue, everybody hit some buttons for blue, will you? Blue, thank you for the resub. Mean Scene, thank you for the big gifted subs earlier. Uh, thank you guys for the love, dude. I appreciate it. I'm sorry we couldn't have more of a thought-out show. The lights are dimming. We have to go. <laughs> uh, them's the breaks when we're shooting on location. However, once again, I want to give a big thanks to Junior, uh, the esports manager over at Arxis, for giving us his blessing to shoot here today. I want to give a big shout out to Esports Engine for letting me do this here today. Uh, Lord Brett, my boss, for helping me facilitate this as well. So big thanks to everybody that's over here. It's time for us to go. So thanks, everybody. I'll catch you all. Oh, actually, you know what? Before I even go, you guys can expect some content from me on Saturday because I'll be here. I'll be shoot. I'll be you know, posting stuff on Twitter. I'll be posting stuff on the Instagram. You know where to go. Go to bestofvshow.com. You can see all of our socials there. This is it for now. Thank you, everybody, for joining today. I will catch you guys next week as well as on Saturday. Stay tuned because we got a lot of stuff coming. And whenever you see, whenever you guys see the stuff, you guys will know when you see it. When you see the stuff, make sure in the Arc System Works chat type. Yeah, best of five did that. <laughs>